What's up guys, welcome. In previous video I've shown you how to enable pip for Python 2. In this video I'll show you how to enable pip for Python 3 and we'll have them working kind of together. We'll be able to call uh, pip for Python 2 to install packages or if we're using Python 3 we'll be able to use pip for Python 3 uh, separately. So first thing first you know, I assume you guys have Python 3 already installed, and for me, it is under users, my username, and do, 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 we're looking for app data, local programs, and Python. There we go. Now I'll go inside that folder. Now I know for a fact that I don't actually have Python 3 as an environment variable, so I'll add that in as well. But we, we, we're basically interested in the scripts directory here. Here we have this pip3.exe. Now that's kind of what we need. So all we're going to do is we're going to copy this path. Again, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to go to our properties for the uh, for this PC, go to environment variables. Here we're gonna add a new environment variable uh, for Python 3 scripts. We'll paste that path right in. And actually, what I'm gonna do, like if you, you can just leave it like this, but for me, I'll actually do it this way. Python 3 home, and now I'm also going to create Python 3 home just because it's, I didn't have that variable in. So now I'm going to do it that way. Let's see, remove that. There we go. So now we need to find uh, we need to find our path, and we're going to click edit. And I already mentioned that, but if you did not watch the other video. If you're on Windows 10, all you need to do here is say new and then say percent percent and in between this percent signs you're gonna say Python 3 script. Press enter, click OK. However, if you are on an older version of Windows, when you click edit, you'll get a box kind of like that. Uh, with one long string as the path. And this path uh, consists of multiple environment variables. And those environment variables are separated by a semicolon. Now, what you want to do is go at the very end of that string and put a semicolon there if there is not one already in place. And after that, you want to do percent percent and then type Python script press OK and then just save everything and then when you go to your terminal now pip 2 works this is for Python 2 now we can do same thing for pip 3 ooh and it doesn't work Okay, why it doesn't work? Oh, I know why it doesn't work because this terminal window was not updated. So we're just going to exit this out. We're going to relaunch our terminal and we're going to type pip3 and is it going to work? Yeah, there we go. So that's it, guys. Thank you for watching. Make sure to like the video, subscribe, and share. Take care, guys.